Hello everyone, it's me, and I'm back again with another Kaguya Summer Season 2 reaction. We are moving on to Episode 3 today. For context, I just watched the first and second episodes of this season two days ago? Three days ago. Losing track of time. Anyway, pretty recently. So, I'm fairly lucky in that I've only, after this one, will I be caught up and then have to wait along with everyone else. Uh, and react to these on a week-by-week -week basis. But that's not such a bad thing. It'll be nice to feel, you know, sort of caught up and watching it sort of in time with everyone else for once. So, yeah, so what are my thoughts so far on the season? The first two episodes, we saw that there's a bit more of a continuity through the through the episodes. They still look like they could be enjoyed just for the humour individually, but I do like that there is this sort of constant progress. It helps me get more invested in the characters, I think. Yeah, we learned their birth dates, specifically 1st of the 1st, 3rd of the 3rd, and 9th of the 9th. That's what, 1, 3, 9? Don't know whether that's any relevance or whether that was just sort of arbitrarily chosen, but that's kind of neat. Um, yeah, and otherwise just the usual sort of shenanigans that you expect from these characters. Uh, we're also seeing a bit more of the expanded cast, so I'm very happy for that. Anyway, I don't have that much else to say, so I'm gonna just go ahead and start. Okay, so this one is Season 2, Episode 3. The skits are Miyuki Shiragane wants to gaze at the moon, the 67th Student Council, and Kaguya doesn't want to say it. Um, if you're new to my reactions, these ones are full-length timer-based reactions, which means that I will do a countdown, there will be a timer just near the video, or near the blank space where a video normally would be, and you'll have your opportunity to sync up to watch along with me. Uh, for the sake of syncing up, I will note that the version that I am looking at on Anime Lab does not have any splash before the opening, it just goes straight into it. Alright, double checking that I've got everything set up properly this time. And I will be starting in 3, 2, 1. So, having watched this twice, the opening I mean, I really like the music, but currently the first season's OP still wins for me, just based on the animation and the style of it. But that said, there are a lot of nice things in this one. And I guess it's not the animation so much in this, it's just that it's it's less out there. The other one was far more sort of stylized, I think. But it's still good. I am a big fan of the music. And there are some bits which do look genuinely cool, and then I like them. It's also a little unfair because the... Uh, Obviously, the first season's OP has had 12 chances to to sort of win me over. More, actually, because I've seen the OP a few more times than, than that, but... Harvest Moon. So that should be pretty big, right?
Oof. That's a bit of a bit of a downer. Why is she wearing bunny ears? Ah, oh, that was her imagination version. She's probably just going to suggest that she go over with the others. Wow. Well, I remember last season he... Because he wanted to go to the mountain last season, I remember. Wow, she's completely getting wrecked this time. It's funny how when he's just so absorbed in this, he's... doesn't even think about it. That's why I think it's good to be interested in things. There's a different quality to a person when they're talking about something they're interested in.
<laughs> so oblivious. <laughs> that was nice. Yum. That was a cool shot. It was interesting that she actually just... went and said it out loud like that. I mean, it still wasn't exactly direct, but... Her, um, her marked cards. That was the... The wrong word game? Bad game? What is it? Forbidden word game. Yeah, sorry, you were somewhere else. <laughs> smiling. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want that as a GIF as well. <laughs> Kind of been that long ago.
Oh, all the way back to the first episode, I think. Yeah. Is that the toilet paper he was holding? Which we still don't know what he was planning to do with it. A random secret passageway. I like how Ishigami is just like, oh, what about this? And then we do nothing with it. So they were the 67th. Ouch. Oh, jeez.
I knew it. <laughs> a diminutive, diminutive, diminutive nickname. Why didn't I just say that? Yeah, I thought they had one more year at school, right? But I guess that's their final their final year. Yeah, I thought she'd actually have considered that earlier. <laughs> wow. Does the president select the rest of the council then? She is actually really thoughtful. Of course you would. Boom. He's been going pretty strong lately, I think. Or at least this uh this episode. Yeah, I don't think it was that week in the previous week. 
not the right word necessarily. But I think he did pretty well in those first episodes as well. Because I'd say the birthday thing ended up sort of being more of a a tie, I guess. Shinomiya made her move, but then um, it ended up getting twisted. And uh, what's his name? Ishigami came in and managed to uh, diffuse or disrupt uh, disrupt Chika. All right, that's episode three down. That was fairly... How do I describe it? That was less of a... Because the episodes, they move between humor and, I guess, like, feelings and progression. And then they sort of tend to interweave them both fairly well, but this one was l slightly less of the humor and more of the pushing that story of the end of that session of being student council. So it gave a nice time to reflect on the events that we've seen so far and what's sort of been going on, which was nice. I don't know why I started there. The first part was the part about the moon. Well, that's right. They wanted to see the moon as like a option just for like a last a last thing to do a student council before their before their term was up. Um yeah, I was I think I don't think I said it fully during the episode because I kept getting mind flooded, but I remember from the first season that in Shirogane's sort of fantasized version of what they would do if they went on a summer vacation trip. He wanted to go to mountains, and then he imagined being able to sit there and point out the different stars and constellations. So I like, again, that sort of consistency of character and that callback um, that he does like those sorts of things. And I like, I like how they showed how, you know, because he was so interested in it, it's not like something he was faking, you know, as opposed to Shinomiya, who was up there because, you know, it was an opportunity to be with him and stuff, which, you know, which is fine. <laughs> But I liked how, you know, he wanted to do that because that was something he really wanted to do and he wanted to share it. And so he, you know, when he was talking about it, he could talk about it so, like, effortlessly and, you know, completely unselfconsciously. Self -uncon yeah, unselfconsciously. And sort of managed to completely exude this confidence the whole time that just completely disarmed Shinomiya. And then we also sort of heard the story about, well, the other Kaguya. That was, and the reason that that sort of made Shinomiya not like the moon. Um, so that was nice. So once again, we have another continuing sort of story where the I guess the election of the next student council will be taking place in the next episode. I think we can probably fairly well, you know, I don't think there's a lot of drama here in, uh, surely they're going to continue. It feels like that's sort of how the thing's framed. So I suspect they'll win, but at the same time, I'm still sort of fairly invested in seeing how it goes. Well, that's pretty much it for that episode. I don't really have anything else to say, so I think I'll just wrap it up there. If you've got any comments, I would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave them just down below. 
Uh, if you liked the video, please throw a like onto it. If you disliked it, please, you know, feel free to use the thumbs down, but I'd also appreciate if you left a comment to say why, because I would like to improve. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video.